My name is Kathy Peterson. I'm an English Booth interpreter at the European Court of Justice. When I started out, I worked from French and German into English, and along the way, I've also added Dutch, Danish, and Swedish. I started working as an interpreter when I was 25. I graduated just in time for the Sydney Olympics, so that was my first gig. And then after that, I moved to Europe and started working as a freelance for the European institutions. And as it turns out, they have been my main employer ever since. I've been working at the court as an official since 2008, so a while now. What I most like about working at the court as an interpreter is that we're given the time and the resources that we need to prepare each case, because some of these cases can be quite complex and quite technical. And so that preparation time is a real gift because it means that I can go into the booth every time feeling well informed and well prepared about the case I'm working on. I think, like with most jobs, some days are definitely more interesting than others, but we do get a lot of very interesting cases, very topical cases, and those are particularly enjoyable to work on. I have three degrees. I started out in Australia at the University of Sydney, where I did a Bachelor of Arts with French and German and a Bachelor of Laws. And as I got through my law degree, I realized that I was interested in modern languages rather than in becoming a lawyer. Working at the court has then given me the opportunity to combine both of these backgrounds. And then after that, I moved to California and went to the Monterey Institute to study interpretation and translation. And that gave me the skills that I needed to pass the EU's accreditation tests and more importantly, to be able to work in the booth. To become an interpreter, I think you need to have some degree of natural aptitude. Now, obviously, aptitude isn't enough. You need to be trained and you need to work at it. But I think, like with most jobs, it's very difficult to take someone with no natural talent and turn them into a good interpreter. I think the main skills for a good interpreter are having a very strong command of your mother tongue. That's the language into which you work all the time. Obviously, you also need to have a very good understanding of your other languages. And I think that as an interpreter, you need to have a certain level of spontaneity. You're always going to come across something you didn't expect. And you need to be able to just relax and wing it and be able to move on. If you think that interpreting might be for you, then in a purely practical sense, I would try to learn more than one foreign language because at the end of the line, that will make you much more employable. Apart from that, I think that if you're interested, you should just give it a try and see if it's a good fit. If you've got a degree with foreign languages and you're interested in potentially becoming an interpreter, then it's really worthwhile to look around and find out where you can go to study interpretation because that will give you the skills that you need to equip you properly for this job.